two specific things I'd like to address here. One is the international stature that we need in the presidency, and as you alluded, at this perilous time. And the second one is the moral clarity, the sense of purpose, and indeed the independence of mind that I think is absolutely necessary for the presidency. But in private conversations, I've had so many opportunities to realize that Taman has a consistent worldview, has moral integrity, and an intellectual compass that ties everything together. And that, to me, is absolutely important together with independence of mind. And it may not be apparent to most people because in many ways you are such an establishment figure. But to me, it is particularly important to be able to navigate in a complex world where you have an independence of mind, but at the same time, you can function within the nuances of having to be a top leader. Personally, I think independence by itself is overrated. Because if you look at it, independence by itself simply means nobody can tell me what to do. I do what I want to do. But if you don't have that moral integrity, that sense of purpose, that consistent worldview, and proven capability to get things done while maintaining your own independence of mind, then sheer independence by itself doesn't mean to me very much. And as a person who values independence of mind, I think I've seen in Taman the ability to really navigate without any of his principles being compromised and yet being able to get things done. I think that is absolutely necessary in a leader as opposed to someone who just beats his chest and say, I'm independent. As a business person, I travel almost every week all over the world. And for those of you who do travel, you'll realize how small and potentially irrelevant we are. And at this particular time, I think it's so important to have a president who will not be partisan in politics, but can speak to the world on issues that are vital, not just to Singapore, but to the whole world. Issues of global income inequality, climate change, a collapsing financial system, geopolitical tensions. We need a president who can stand above the rest of the crowd in terms of global leaders and make us proud that a small nation can actually be internationally respected. So for these two reasons and many others, I actually think, I really do think Taman will make an excellent president.